Hi friends, welcome back. My fan is on, just so you are aware of that. Today we're gonna do a little shop my stash. I'm just gonna swap out some products because I feel like when I film and when I go through my drawers and everything, my shop my stash just gets so... I get so many products in here and I just feel like I need to take some products out. I wanna put some other products in and I just wanna swap it out a little bit. I don't know how long I've had this, but I don't feel like I need to have a shop my stash for one week, two weeks, three weeks. I just want to have it as long as I want to have it for until I get bored. And right now I'm not bored, I'm just overwhelmed. So I kind of just reach for the same products over and over again. So I'm just going to talk about some products and then we can swap out some products. So here I have, wait. Hooray. Here we have a bunch of brushes. I mean, this is just ridiculous. We don't need this many brushes, but I need to clean my brushes today. I'm having like a day where I'm just gonna go and yeah, I'm gonna clean my brushes. I have so many things to do today, like clean the house and everything. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm just gonna put this to the side and then we can look at this little drawer damn okay so i have not used some products here and i'm just gonna take them out i've been loving this technic foundation i really really think that this is amazing especially right now uh really been been enjoying that same thing with this one i feel like it is a little bit hot to wear this right now but i've really been enjoying this as well i don't want to wear an oil right now when it is this hot because i feel like that is a little bit more towards like the winter time this one i'm trying to use up this is from nip and fab I've really been enjoying this bronzer from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade Tawny. I just think that this has like this beautiful terracotta um, shadow to it. So you just look very, very sunburnt. These products I'm going to put back. I haven't used them. This one, when I get sweaty, this doesn't last very well during the um, summer when you get sweaty. So... This one will go back. Let's see. Um, I've had this concealer on in my shop, my stash for the longest time. I actually thought that I was almost done with it, but I guess not. So I'm gonna swap out my concealer so I can get some use out of some other concealers. I'm gonna put these back because it is too hot for cream highlights right now this isn't even belonging here um yeah but i just have like a bunch of products in here i feel like i don't have too much to say about them but this palette i have been loving this is just my singles so i kind of want to keep this in because i don't feel like i've used it too much I think I'm gonna put some of my palettes back and then I'm gonna have the app Tiny Decisions decide which palettes I'm gonna use. But this palette is the Anastasia Nor Norvina One palette. Really been enjoying this one. It was so much fun using this. Natasha Denona Gold palette is a favorite of mine. Enjoying this one a lot. This one I have only used once, so I kinda wanna keep using it, but We'll see if the Tiny Decision app picks this one. Oh my god. This one I had so much fun with. I love this Juvia's Place palette. I think it's gorgeous. Dream Glow Kit I've been using a lot. The Emily Wants palette I've been using a couple of times. I think I actually need to like take tape and remove a lot of the hard pan that has gotten in here but that's for another day and then yeah i just feel like i'm just so annoyed i just this palette i haven't used this one i've used but i want to use more uh, gingerbread spice from Too Faced. but i just feel so annoyed because there's so many crap products here not so many crap products but there's so many products here so i'm just gonna put a lot of the products back and then we can take out some new products so I feel like it's been a while since you got to dive into my primers, but here all of them are. <sighs> yeah, we have expanded and it's crazy because I didn't purchase any new ones. 
I got this one sent to me. This is a little tester that I got with an order. So this I'm gonna finish up really quickly. This one was actually decluttered, but I took it back because the brand sent it to me and then I never really, I haven't really used it, but that's fine. I have used up one primer since you were here, which was the NYX one that is like the Illamasqua one. I am gonna take this one, as I said, I don't know why I put it back, but I'm trying to use this one up. I don't think I have too much left in this, so that's one I'm gonna take, but I'm really into trying out this one because I bought this as one of my primers that I was allowed to purchase for the first six months. And uh, now I feel like I really wanna purchase like the new, not the new one, but it is the Charlotte Tilbury one. And I don't feel like I need to because I have this and they say that it's a dupe so I thought that I would just take that one. Now for my foundations, they are here. I don't know what happened. Like honestly, I haven't purchased a single foundation since I purchased this. I also used some up but I have gotten so many foundations in PR. The foundations that I wanna take is this one from Technic. I've been loving this, honestly, it's so good. So that's one I wanna take, but I also really wanna take this. I wanna see if I can make this work because I don't love this one and this is a little bit too light for me. This is the, oops, Urban Decay uh, Stay Naked Foundation and here you can see it is too light for me. So I think I'm also gonna take, oops, this one this one is not my color at all this is light 02 from l'oreal and here you can see it's super dark but i thought that this is a little bit watery and very very sheer so maybe if i mix them i could get them to work together but honestly i just feel so overwhelmed and this one okay i can declutter this one right now because look at this oh can you see that can you see that there's like oil right up here? It's just, I don't feel like it's supposed to be like that. So I'm just gonna get this um, recycled and out of my collection. So now I'm just doing like a small declutter. But yeah, the other ones, they are here. So they can stay there. Three foundations, great Paulina, great. Then we have concealers right here. I did put back this one because I actually purchased a deeper shade just because I've got a, such a tan during the summer right now. So this is C10. I mixed this with my concealer so that I will get my perfect shade because they are way too light for me. And I don't wanna purchase the same concealers in a deeper shade. That's what I've been doing, but I bought the shade C12 and that is a better match. So I'm actually gonna Day to Urban Decay and I'm gonna try this one. This is also a bit too matte for me, I think, but I'm gonna test it out and then I wanna get some extra use, I think from my Tarte concealer. Those are the ones that I am gonna use and then I have my Product Pan concealer that is almost empty. I think that I can finish that one this week. So here we have my blush drawer and I'm so ashamed it's so it's so many i am honestly i'm so i'm so overwhelmed but it's fine it's fine i am going to take this one it's a little mini from nudies no nude sticks this is in the shade sweet peach peony looks like that it's just a very very pretty like neutral everyday color so that I wanna take. I also wanna take this one I've been liking, Pinched, from Flower Beauty. So that is that one, and when you blend it out, it is a bit too neutral for me. So I might actually go in with this one from uh, Makeup Academy. This is in the shade Misty Rose. I like the shade on its own, but maybe they can be mixed a little bit. Yeah, that was actually a pretty color. So, oops, look at that. I'm so fucking clumsy. But yeah, here you can see the color. I just blobbed it all over my 
hand. And then I'm also going to take my MAC blush. This is in the shade Blush Please. I've really been liking this actually. So I am going to add that one in as well. So here we have my little highlighter drawer. And I kind of want to take highlighters that I don't normally reach for. Which ones haven't we? we ha I don't think we have had this ColourPop Dream sequence in for a while. This is just stunning maybe we can even get some use out of this one now that we have a little bit more of a tan oh my god sorry the light is so bad here here is that shade they are just so sparkly and beautiful so yeah this one should we take something else as well i do have my project pan highlighter as well in uh, my little basket but maybe we can take we haven't used Rodeo Drive in a while. Here it is. So this is just the golden highlight from Ofra. I think that I'm just gonna stick to those two for this rotation. So I wanna get some extra use out of some of my pigments. So I am going to put in my Natasha Denona pigment. I really like this shade. This is just like a topper. This is in the shade gray brown. I'm just gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. But there you can see what it looks like. It's just a pretty everyday color. This one from Beach Cosmetics I haven't used in a while. This is like a loose eyeshadow. Do you see that it is sort of like a green silver? Wow, that was really pretty as well. I'm gonna take that one as well. I have a little Heart collection here. Oh, wait, I remember these from W7. I need to open and swatch these. These are like jelly shadows, but they aren't like the ColourPop ones because these are actually jelly. But I'm wondering if they are gonna crease. Oh, wow. That's the shade on the cusp. What is this color? Oh, wow. Oh, this is separated. Do you see that? But this is a bit more like a lavender periwinkle. Oh, that's also pretty. Very, very sheer. I'm going to take this from W7. But I have a little heart collection here as well. I think it was four shadows. Let's see. I think they came out with this. When was it? Let me zoom you guys in a little bit more. They came out with this during this winter or... F no, I don't remember. Last winter? I don't know. Okay, let me see here. Ooh, this shade? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, wow. I think this is my favorite shadow out of all of them. This is the shadow Wild at Heart. So that one is for sure staying in. This is a bit more like a bronzy shade. Maybe we want to have that for one day. Let me swatch it. It's almost a little bit like reddish bronze. Oh, wow. Yes. Let's keep that one in. And this one, is this my favorite shade? This is the shade, sorry. This is the shade Frost. I need to clean my hat. Oh, damn it. Okay. Let me take just a little bit on the back of my hand. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You see all of these shadows? Wow, I'm going to have so much fun. Yes. That one's stays in and then the last one is the shade pink diamonds oh wow yeah okay i'm gonna have all of them in i definitely went all in with my pigments but why not i really want to try and use my blush tribe pigments a bit more as well but maybe for next rotation my makeup collection has gotten a bit beat up I want to say that I don't know what happened, but I do. <laughs> I 
Okay, I'm gonna take my Anastasia bronzer. I really wanna use this a bit more. I just kind of purchased it. And then I think I'm on, I wanna take this one as well and get a little bit more use out of it. I feel like I can finish this one up. I'm just gonna toss this because this is just driving me bonkers. Do we wanna add a third bronzer? No, I think I will add a third bronzer later on if I feel like I want to. You know what, maybe I'm gonna take this one as well because why not? I used this today and I kind of missed it. This is the uh, Revolution Pro 4K bronzer palette. So let me add that one in as well. And then for powder, I think I'm just gonna stick to my Too Faced Peach Perfect powder. I'm trying to use this one up because I kind of want to get one powder out out from my collection and I think this is the oldest one that I have. The last thing we have are eyeshadow palettes and I am just gonna take up my app, Tiny Decisions, and I'm gonna let it pick three palettes. So let me put on the sound. I will have uh, my single shadows in as well that I featured in the beginning. Mm, my Gimme Glow shadows are actually in my palette so i actually remembered something it can pick out two palettes but i have a palette that i actually really want to use this is from h&m i haven't used this this was gifted to me and i just think that this palette looks absolutely stunning if you look at the shimmers in this palette here you can see a little bit better i just think that this palette is like super pretty and i have never tried h&m shadows so this is a palette I'm gonna add in. This is called the Like a Boss eyeshadow palette. Okay, but let's continue. Gimme Glow shadows are in my single shadows. Yes, so happy. Okay, I'm gonna take out that, but first let me see the last palette. Oh great, that was fun. Okay, wait a minute. So here we have the Kaleidos Astro Pink palette. This is one of my favorite from them. This is like my all time favorite, but right now I love the turquoise one a little bit more, but this is just gorgeous. I'm really happy that I got this palette. And then my Strobe Cosmetics Group Cute palette, or they are now called Shroud Cosmetics. It's gonna be perfect right now when it is a little bit more summer and pastels are really in. I really wanna use that shade and that shade. So it's gonna be a little bit, it's not gonna be a little bit fun, it's gonna be fun. Let me take a fifth palette. Oh, love. What a great rotation. Dose of Colors, Friendcation, gorgeous. Love this palette. We'll probably use this a lot for like the browns and then use a lot of the pigments, maybe this blue. I think I wanna use these two. So much fun. Let me go to my last drawer and take out some lippies. There's no need to judge me. I know that this lip drawer looks disgusting and this is one of them, not all of them. Uh, I'm gonna take this one from Anastasia Above the Hills. This is on mute. And I'm also gonna take this that is sand. This is very pretty to have just in the center. It is a little bit too light to have on its own. And then this one, I really li love these incredible lip tints, like cores, whatever. Really been enjoying those. Mm -hmm. Wow. What a... Okay, great. I'm gonna have this one in as well because this is actually a lippy that I will be able to finish up. Maybe not this rotation, but in a while. Ooh, my Milani eyeshadow primer. It's a must. I want to have a lot of nude colors. Happy Hour from Dose of Colors is a lip gloss that I love. I'm going to have that one in. I'm going to have my Gerard, Gerard, <laughs> Gerard Cosmetics lipstick in the shade. Wow, wait. This is the shade Kimchi Doll. Whoops, sorry. Uh, just a perfect nude that is perfect to like have in the center as well. And do ombre lips with. I'm going to take ColourPop Dopey. 
this one. I want to finish this one up. This is my Morphe lipstick in the shade Wink Wink. Don't judge me. I think I can finish this one up. I actually remember this looking disgusting, but now I remember uh, that I cleaned it up. So no worries there. Ooh, this one I love. No, it's not that one. I'm going to take this one as well. This is my Buxom lipstick in the shade White Russian. Very, very pretty. Also like a pinky nude. And then maybe we can have something like a peachy nude. Oh, let me take this. I bought this ages ago, like maybe six months ago. I barely used it. This is a tinted lip balm in the shade Perfect Nude. Just looks like, whoops. Oh no. I'm gonna shake this. Okay, let's see here if we can make this. Okay, let me just take this, that out. Okay, great, much better. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can make this work because now the product comes out normal. If not, I'm gonna declutter it. But I think that that is all the lippies I'm gonna have. I still have a lot of lip products in my purse that I, you know, wanna use. So that was all from me this time. I hope you liked this little video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.